had a Chinese father and an Indian mother. They had a brood of 14 and I was 11th in line. Um, uh, my, my family was uh, very tumultuous um, and my, very important. Um, next to God and the priest and the teacher stood my father. And he was funny, but he was very strict. And um, my life was, had total freedom. My mother said, God looks after kids and drugs, so she never worried about us. And we had the whole freedom of the hills, the rivers, and the valleys. And I don't think she knew where we were from morning till night. And we never went around with bottles of water. Everywhere we went, there was hoses that we could lift up and stick in our mouth. And we played games all day long. We um, played prisoner's base, uh, um, run my sheep run, um, and we played post office. The government man used to come around and teach us games. And they had to work. And we, we had a huge garden where the park is today in Lillooet. And uh, my mother did all her canning and all her fruit and fish. And uh, my dad had a cafe and a rooming house. And in those days, uh, everything was moved by pack horse because it was a small ferry and the PGE had a little train running up to Shalal. And all the... Um, the packers stayed in our rooming house and there was next door to us was a livery stable and um, uh, a place where you could take your dead and my mom and the women in town would come and um, line the coffins and wash the bodies and dress them up and my mother also delivered all the babies in, in town and uh, we had a room in the house where anybody that was sick, mom put them to bed and nursed them. And my papa was a herbalist, a Chinese herbalist. And I could remember uh, we had a hobo come to the house and he asked for some job to do to get some food. And my father said, he showed him the axe and the box of wood. And when he was cutting wood, he cut his thumb off. And I can remember the blood spurting all over. And my mom ran into the kitchen and got a can of Chinese tea and my dad held it out and stuck his hand in there and it congealed on his finger and uh, that's what, that was the end of the bleeding. I was so fascinated with both of them, what they could do. Uh, they, they were like a fairy tale to me because mom just nursed everybody in town. And uh, Papa looked every, at, after anybody that needed salve or um, medicine made out of pitch or bushes or trees and whatever herbs he had from Chinese or deer horns or bear feet or whatever. That's bear feet, not our feet. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Don Manson and this is my story.